Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in the new Porsche 911 GTS and next to me is an old Porsche 911. Seems a bit unfair. It'll make sense in a moment. Let me tell you about this new GTS. It's sort of like a halfway house between the turbo and the GT3. A rate of suspension, brakes. This one actually has a seven speed manual. Ooh. It's powered by a three litre flat six twin turbo with 480 horsepower and 570 newton meters of torque. Rear wheel drive only. Only. It's quite expensive this with all the upgrades you see. It costs £110,000. If it was me I'd just spend the extra and get a GT3. Well if you could get a GT3. Maybe just get the turbo. Anyway let's find out about that old Porsche because surely it's got no chance. Let's speak to its owner. It's Richard Morgan from Electric Classic Cars. So Richard tell me about that Porsche. I know it's not original because you're driving it and you've built it so it's going to be a bit special. It's special just like me Matt but yeah you're right it's not original. This is a homage to the 1973 RS, the uh, the first supercar in my mind. And uh, what we've done is do our usual silliness and put a Tesla motor in the back. So this has got 450 horsepower, 400 Newton meters of torque, but only weighs 1,275 kilos. It's actually based on a three liter 1973 9 SC and it actually ended up weighing the same as that car but not quite as light as the original 73 RS. Okay so you've got a definite weight advantage like this thing weighs 1510 kilos. How about a price advantage though? How much is that if someone wanted to buy that very car? Uh, yeah this is probably uh, around about 225 grand. So quite a lot of money so pretty much double the price of this. Hmm what's going to happen. Now before we go any further, if you want to check out Richard's channel, Electric Classic Cars, I'll put a link in the description, go do that. And do you know what? If you're thinking about selling your car, you can now do it through CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. It's dead easy to do. And all you have to do is pick which dealer you want to go for, and they'll come along to your house and take your car away, put the money in your account. So simple. Now, if you want to do that now, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, at a later date, just simply Google Wow, me car wow, and we will wow you. Let's get on with this. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we race, let's start off with the customary CarWow sound check. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to win this. Why won't it just let you rev it all the way up. It's not the best sound in the world, but it's better than that. Uh, okay, Richard, you need to make some sounds because your car doesn't make any noise. So go on, do some weird noises just to make people laugh. Take me home, country road, to the place I belong. Now stop now, because we're going to get copyrighted. We're going to get copyrighted. That's, that's enough. There we go. Don't want John Denver <laughs> issuing a copyright strike against this video. Right, you know what the next thing to do is? We've got to warm up our tyres. I'm going to go first. This GTS apparently comes with Porsche torque vectoring. Looks like it comes with Porsche understeering. <laughs> oh dear, Watson. Oh, that's enough. Whee! Hell yeah, baby. Hi, hi. Now the trick is to roll back into position like I meant that manoeuvre. Oh yeah, I meant all that. I meant to spin. It was all part of the plan. That <laughs> looked like fun. Go on, Richard. Give us an example of electric power. <laughs> Look at this. <coughs> Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. It's now coming to the car. Oh, that tastes horrible. Oh my God, that is freaking amazing. Could you see where you were going there? <laughs> right, let's race. Now I'm going to use the soft limiter as like a launch control in this manual and then just dump the clutch, see what happens. Got stability off so it doesn't bog down. Three, two, one. Bit of a bog down, I'm off now though. Poor start by me! Oh, it's come back at me. This is so close! Oh no! Whoa! Bit of a 
parked down, he was struggling off the line, then came past, and then I came past again. Richard, what happened? I thought you were going to go quicker off the line. That's technically what's known in the trade as fluffing up your start. I was so pleased with myself that I won that. So go on, say the words you want to say. Let's have another go. <laughs> Let's have another go. Three, two, one. Oh, he beat me off the line that time. There's Bennett. Come on, do good gear changes. See you later, boy. Yeah, your start was better then. Oh yeah, that was a better one. I like that start. That was spot on, mate. We took off exactly at the same time. Do you know what I'm going to say? The words I'm going to say now, though. Guess what they are? Is it uh, make up a sentence of let's have another go? It's basically best two out of three, right? Because we've both won one race. Let's let's find out with the decider. Three, two, one. Go on, go, 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 go. Power. He's got it. Very good launch. You got ahead at one stage, I think ever so slightly, but then no. Launch wise, I think we, we probably got about as good a launch as we can both get on that one. So then what exactly happened? Well, the 911 GTS won, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.2 seconds, while the electric 911 took 12.6 seconds. Okay, now we're going to have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. See which car is the quickest to the quarter mile, then the half mile, and then the mile. Let's do it, I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh it's going to be past me there. So that is the quarter mile, now I'm dropping him. No point going to the mile, dropped. I thought you'd pick up a lot quicker than that. That wasn't uh, as quick as I was hoping for. Let me just uh, change a parameter if you don't mind. Rich is just going to change a parameter. I'm going to change a parameter. There we go, just change my parameter. This is Richard changing a parameter. Can you do that? Is he adding an extra motor under there? He's doing something with his phone. Maybe saying, give more power sooner. Let's find out what exactly that did. Okay, now that Richard has changed the parameter, we are going to do another rolling race, 30 miles an hour. I'm in third gear. I'll count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, his parameter worked. Yeah, that's better. But can I catch him? before the half mile. Oh, come on. Oh, he just got me in the half mile. You changed the parameter. What was that parameter? So there's a difference between moggy crazy parameter set and customer parameter set. I always dial it back a little bit when I deliver these cars to customers and I forgot all about that. So I needed to turn it back up to 11 for moggy crazy mode, which is what I've done. Okay, now that Rich has set his Porsche to full power, we're gonna have another drag race. See how much difference it makes. Three, two, one. It's a good one. Always coming now. Oh, come on, petrol power. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh, that was so good, that race. That was so good. So you were down on power, clearly, but not by much. Did you win? Oh, of course I won there, mate. No question. Oh. So then what exactly happened this time? Well, both cars did the quarter mile in 12.2 seconds, but it was so close on the line, I want you to vote in our pinned comment to decide 
which of the cars actually crossed the line first. Okay, now we have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? Here it is now. <laughs> uh, Rich, I don't think your car has ABS, does it? You know, I like doing burnouts. I think that's the longest brake burnout I've ever done. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, we seem to stop at a similar rate at first, but obviously that doesn't have ABS. <laughs> that was so shocking. Shows you the benefit of ABS really, doesn't it? That's absolutely nuts. Oh my gosh. Now, if you're into electric cars and you're thinking about buying an electric car, you need to check out the Car Wow Electric Car Hub page, where we've got all the latest reviews, news, and buying advice. Plus, you can make sure you're paying a fair price because we've got discounts on electric cars there as well. To check that out, just click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, just simply Google Wow Me Car Wow and you can just go straight there, it's easy. Richard, is it all right if I have a little go in your 911? Uh, yeah, don't break it though, mate, because I've got to drive it back. Give it some beans. Last time we did a like straight burnout in my Beetle, but your donuts were a little bit Week, so try some donuts today mate okay all right it's funny going out of the current 911 to this one because we're almost like touching shoulders <laughs> we're so close together it's so it, small i find all the cars are a lot smaller yeah than uh, bigger cars but that's a good thing though it's a good thing right uh, size is everything apparently matt that's what they say that's what your wife told me <laughs> <laughs> right it's enough of that Whoa! <laughs> oh, that is nuts! I need some handles! Oh, right, quad C. <laughs> that stinks. I'll be sick. Who says electric cars don't produce pollution, mate? I need to get out. Oh. <laughs> My God, look at that. Oh, I don't feel very good. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some more videos, click on those windows there. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to sell your car. Yes, you can now sell your car through CarWow. You just upload some photos, give a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. It's dead easy. Thanks for watching. Is that going to be all right to drive home?